Okay, so there was that. <laughs> the notes. So here's the Israeli-Palestine conflict summarized by Trisha. <laughs> Wait, you erased it? Because this is a link to your TikTok. Um, I think I put it back up. I asked Moses if it was okay if I put it back up. I didn't want to embarrass him further. Okay, here it is. So the caption is, when you take your boyfriend's <laughs> Israeli identity and all the comments are free Palestine, and you're just trying to figure out where Palestine even is and why it needs to be freed. I mean, it's funny how you willing have. you are to be ignorant. But it's true. They always say free Palestine. I'm like, I, I swear when I met him, I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, what is Palestine? Like, I had no idea. I think it's the way that you do it is like, trip. you're making fun of them. Literally, no. It yeah, literally is what I know because I don't even know what it's about. I watched Zohan and I was like, I don't understand this. Like, Palestine. Well, Zohan is, is not a documentary, but it is about Palestine versus Israel. Do you did you tell her anything about it, Moses? <laughs> Come on. Well, we don't. You want me to tell politics. you a little bit? I'll not, get, I, I can mean, give you in a nutshell. I get it. I get it. Well, people always get mad at me because they go, "Oh, you make fun of her because she's ignorant," and then you don't explain it to her. Oh, so now you're gonna educate me on it? I can give you in a nutshell. Okay, I'll hear it. Okay, here we go. So before the there before there was a mass immigration of Jews from Europe and around the world to Israel, mm -hmm. there was the Palestinians lived there, more or less. This is very simplified. And then the Jews bought up a ton of land and moved them and just kind of forced them in a lot of ways down into the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Mm. Some people consider all of Israel Palestine, uh, <laughs> but it's like traditionally Palestine. I mean, it is, if you go back in a map, it was used to be called Palestine, Palestinian territory. So if I go to Israel, I can walk into Palestine? Well, Palestine is not is kind of, it's not, Palestine and Israel is kind of a name for the same place. So everything is, so Jaffa is Palestine. Yeah, if you ask a Palestinian, they'll say it's Palestine. So he could say he's Palestinian? No, because he's not Arab, he's not Palestinian. Only Arabs believe that. Well, Palestinian is a group of people, like Jews is a group of people. So Palestinians mm -hmm. are, are Arabs who come from that region. Uh, you know, their their lineage and their heritage and they're they're from that region. But they they're living in Gaza Strip, which is like a really horrible place to live. And uh, they're like boxed in this tiny bit of land that Israel owns. And uh, it's fucking horrible to live there. So they're not like walking around Tel Aviv. No. Well, some of our yeah no. There's there's a lot of Arab um, uh, Israeli uh, dual citizens. I don't want them to be mad. Honestly, like I really don't. I thought it was a joke because like honestly, where I was coming from is like I don't even know where Palestine is. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't it's know. kind of complicated, but. <laughs> well. But but Palestine, uh, there's a lot of you know. The Israelis do a lot of fucked up shit there, mm -hmm. like stealing their land, encroaching on their mm -hmm. land all the time. They're like Christopher Columbus. Yeah, they're like Christopher Columbus light, I would say, because they have to deal with like PR, where Christopher <laughs> Columbus was like, fuck these Indians, dude. <laughs> He's out there with like polio and fucking weed whackers. He's like, nobody Aww. gives a shit. So yeah, they're kind of like Christopher Columbus light. How did I do, Dan? Did I do okay? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to piss anyone off here. No. I'm just trying to eat matzo brittle. It's Hanukkah, so we can't piss them off. But obviously, um, that's why they get sensitive, because they think it's like a genocide. Like a Palestinian genocide. Oh, happening Apart now? Or slash apartheid. Happening now. Yeah. Right. I apologize. I think my joke was funny. I think it's a joke. It's TikTok. I thought it was funny. Thanks. But it's more a joke about how ignorant you are, not about the Palestinian yeah, people. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. Yeah. Like, oh my God, look at this dumb bitch. <laughs> Which I'm not dumb. I just like, who knows? No one is taught Israel versus Palestine. I feel like the vast majority of people know what Palestine is. That's not true. What? That's not true. Why is it not true? Because like, we are talking about how he didn't learn about U.S. history. We don't learn about Israeli history. Yeah, but Palest Palestinian, the whole Jew, <laughs> the Israel-Palestinian conflict is like one, if not the most, like globally, rel like globally forefront conflict in the world it's like everybody knows about that conflict mm. who do you think that it, right i don't think so no. i don't know do you Honestly. agree with me dan we're all jewish so it's hard i, I don't know we're all jewish no i mean yeah I mean, like, I mean you guys are arab so right. oh oh my god we're both arabs you're palestinian then they're not palestinian you guys you are just Lebanese, said right? arabs are palestinian not every arab is palestinian that's ridiculous there's you're tons of countries in in the middle east <gasps> Oh, I feel some tension now. We got some Jews, we got some Arabs, and we got some Christians. <laughs> you just described uh, Jerusalem. This is every... Whoa! So does that mean you're Muslim? Arab is Muslim? Yeah. Well, no, no. Not all of them. <laughs> but you are. Yeah. <gasps> 
That's dope. No, I love it. I, I was just saying I want to interview a Muslim. Like, I don't know Muslims. Like, what do you ask them anything? We got them right here. Well, they can't hear them. I feel like we need to have them on as a guest. Here, can let's say you, you this will be great. Muslim. <laughs> there you go. That's fucking crazy. Do you guys mind being interviewed? Yeah. Wait, S- are Trish, you too? Let's, 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 let's oh. learn from an Arab here. Dan, pass off the mic. We're going impromptu, Dan baby. Hates this. He's like, fuck. I feel like Dan just hates frenemies all the time. He's like over it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Dan's always like, wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. Well, H3 goes for <laughs> yeah. three and a half hours. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. You got to follow. You got to follow what's good. Dude, whenever we have a chance to educate Trisha, we have to take it. So here we have AB with us, our resident uh, Arab Muslim. slash Muslim. Hello. Thank you for being here. Can I ask you the first question? Yes. <laughs> so Trisha says, when you sat down, she's like, you're really Arab? That's so trippy. How does that make you feel? <laughs> because I know Trisha, it doesn't bother me. No. Trisha, Trisha's... But is it odd that... So I get a pass to ask... But is it odd being treated like an oddity? I mean, you're just like a normal American dude. Um, uh, no, because I'm kind of used to it. Growing up, uh, 9-11 happened when I was like in second grade. So I heard it a lot like growing up. And was it because like how you looked or your name? It's my name. What's your name, your full name? Can you say it or no? Yeah, I can say it. Abdallah. Abdallah. Yeah. And... It's pretty good. I have a, this is like a question because I'm genuinely, you're on social media. Well, you're here now on here. Yeah. Like, and you're not scared of getting like killed. Like on 90 Jesus. Day Fiance. No, because like on 90 Day Fiance, Azin could get killed for having social media. He's in Jordan. Oh, you're saying because I'm Muslim? Yeah. You're not oh. going to be on social media and stuff. Well, in, right. Well, okay, I'll let you take yeah, that no, one. That, that's, <laughs> no, there's always like a, a lot of like uh, bullshit that goes around about being Muslim. It's not as scary or as uh, extreme as a lot of people make it. It's just like any other re- religion. There's extremes, you know, in Christianity or. Oh, right. You know, but in, it if you're in Jordan, it's way different. He's in America. You and your girlfriend are both Americans. That uh, are Muslim. They're not even Jordanese. They're Lebanese. Oh, that's yeah. different. Yeah. So they're not in that country and they're not even of that country. Okay. You know can what I mean? Can you date a non-Muslim? I know you're dating a Muslim, but can you date a non-Muslim? Um, me personally, I don't mind, but uh, like my dad's side of the family would mind. They prefer if he. Muslim. How much would they mind? Um, like my my parents are more liberal, but like my uh, aunts and uncles, they would. They, they don't only want, like, a Muslim. They want, like, the same village, the same... Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, they prefer same sect of Islam. Like That's pretty... St- what if everyone from that village is just kind of, like, b- busted? Yeah, there's some villages like that. Are you guys from <laughs> the same village? Uh, no, we're not, but... And I noticed... Close and, enough? Cl- close enough. <laughs> <laughs> they get along. <laughs> well, because I, I... Okay, she said you could answer for her, too. But, like, I know she doesn't wear a, a head thing. And on Muslim TikTok, everybody wears a head wrap. And if mm-hmm. you don't, it's a like... head wrap? Yeah. Or hijab. <laughs> yeah. So that's another, uh, like, common misconception. Like, my uncle, he's very religious. And he taught me everything I know about uh, Islam. And uh, it comes from an older text. And the word is... Uh, it's like an ancient word. Like, the book... Our holy book is very old. And it's not supposed to be changed at all. So there's a lot of uh, misconceptions, misinterpretations. So... Um, like me, like I believe it just means that a woman's supposed to like dress modestly. Um, oh. Where some people think it's just covering the hair, some think it's just you know showing the eyes. It's just whatever the interpretation is. So she shows cleave, not into it. Uh, no, I don't mind. But <laughs> Do you, would you uh. show cleavage? You would show cleavage. No comment. No comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a no but comment. But would you wear a bikini? Yeah. Yeah, she wore a bikini. Lena, wore a bikini. Lena used to model. Yeah. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, a Muslim model. You said he used to model. You would think that'd be against it. I did some pageants, that's all. Some what? Pageants. Only fans? No, I'm Pageants. Kidding. Sorry. It's an awful joke. Oh my God, that's so interesting. <laughs> what about like Mia, Mia Khalifa? She's Muslim, no? Okay, dude, being Muslim is like a huge swath okay, okay. Back to of people. It's you, like, you have to understand, there's <gasps> like... Is this Arabic? Yes. Whoa, what's it say? Um, the translation is basically, keep moving forward. Can you say it in Arabic? She can. No. No. <laughs> They're like, no, we can't say it. Okay. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so you don't, you don't you don't know how to speak Arabic? Not well, no. I know how to swear pretty much. Love and, that. Say hello. Oh, uh, Shamuta. Shamuta, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. I've dated all the cultures. <laughs> but you understand that like being a Muslim or being an Arab is like a huge swath of like as, as diverse as being like a, a Christian or a Jew. There's people like obviously he's very secular. But Muslims are known to be like 
Heart, like 90 Day Fiance, every Muslim on there is like, you'll You're die. Th they're in Jordan. They're in Jordan. Okay, don't you understand? Even here, like they're very hardcore. They cover you your don't, head. You don't, this is the first Muslim you've ever, or Arab you've ever met in your life. You just said that. Why? Yeah, but, that's true. Yeah. Wow. Right. Are you scared of anything? Like the, Are you scared of anything? Like them coming for you for anything? Who's, Com who's uh, coming for him? Illuminati? <laughs> No, your family, because it's the family that like has hate on hate. If you're, if you're, what do you think happens? He gets stoned, maybe. I mean, that he literally said, "We watched any fans." He literally said, "They will kill you." My dad will literally kill him for being on the show. Like I said, yeah, just extremes. You know. and everything. Everyone I know, like no you know, extremities. Like where I come from, my hometown has the highest uh, population of Muslims outside. Um, I mean, in the U.S. Right. So, and like all my friends, they're all a bunch of de uh, degenerates. They smoke, drink, party. And they're Muslims? Yeah, Muslims, yeah. Oh, so you only hang out with Muslims? No. No, we don't really see race where I'm from. Like, we have a lot of, we hang out with a lot of... Uh, everybody. Yeah, everybody, yeah. Well, that's so interesting. Though. I always find it interesting how Jews do hang out with Jews, Muslims hang out with Muslims, Israelis meet Israelis. You know what I mean? Like, it is kind of weird how that all happens, but I think that's interesting because he said he has Muslim friends. I've never met Muslims, so you know what I mean? Like, it's interesting how they all find each other and gravitate. Are you scared? Other. What do you think? Did you, what do you think? Where are you going? I'm so impressed. Mm -hmm. I'm so, because you have tattoos. Right. You have a girlfriend. I just, I wife. watch. Wife. wife. Yeah. Oh, shit. How Holy are shit. You? Oh, you're huh? 28. Yeah. I have three wives. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> you don't believe in that? But you, that's a thing, because Soldier Boy, he, on 90 Day Fiance, he could have no, multiple Mormons wives. No, Mormons do that, too. Are you not going to do that? Well, that's another one of those things that we think is, like, open to interpretation. Like, when the book was first made, it was, like, during a time of war. Um, families couldn't provide. It, there's a lot more to it than that. Mm. But I don't think it was meant for, like, modern day. You're not about marrying multiple women. I mean, I, I'm, I'm all for it, but I don't think my wife <laughs> would be okay Oh, you're it. not for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh she like, says he's kidding, but he's like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm all for it. I kind of like the idea of multiple wives. Like, I kind of wish Mo Moses. You like Muslim. that? Mm -hmm. Moses, thoughts? I'm good for more wives. He'll, he'll, oh. <laughs> all right, come First on. First of all, that was a test. So let's let's move on. It, so, bye. Yeah. Yeah. All right, with um, Leo's all day. This Thank is you, AB. Very exciting. No problem. Congrats. That's so exciting. Thank you. Congrats on what? He made it oh, out alive, I guess. Out of where? I made it, guys. He was born in America. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. They both don't look Muslim to me, so that's why I thought that was so interesting. What is I, a Muslim supposed to look like? I'll show you on TikTok. They wear the hijabs. I wanted to wear it. He has a he has a Muslim scarf at home, but he won't let me wear it. Well he lets me wear it, but just you understand not they're Jordanian and who's America. Okay, but there's Nigerian Muslims. There's mm -hmm. like so many different Muslims, so right. Lebanese Muslims too are from that same area. It's Israel, Lebanon. Different country. But it's that same sector of the Middle East. So Saudi Arabian Muslims mm. are the same as, let's say, Indonesian Muslims. Mm. I'm asking you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I love my Saudi fans. I have a lot of people from Saudi. You do? Me. Yeah, for real. They come to my show. Awesome. They have money. They always have right. the VIPs. Can we get? Saudis. All right. Let's, let's get on with it. What if a sheik asked me to go over to Saudi Arabia? Do you think I should do it? I've had it What's happen the price? before. I once got offered legitimately 50000 They were going to wire it beforehand. Enough. Yes. Yeah. No. To fly you over. You have sex with a sheik? Yeah, but they'll never let you leave. They're like they can fucking hold you prisoner. Those guys are crazy. They have like slaves in Saudi but I Arabia. Think and they shit. would know in Dubai. if I was missing. Someone would be like, "Oh, she went to go see a sheik, and now she's missing." Yeah, but what, who's gonna what, who's gonna go in there and take you back? It's like, I have an Israeli boyfriend. Sorry, yo. Um, He's like the Zohan. Zohan ain't getting your ass <laughs> out of fucking Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, okay, maybe I won't go. You'll be in a fucking cage, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's so extreme. Jesus. I'm just saying, dude. These these sheiks and these people in Dubai and Saudi Arabia, they bring girls over and they literally turn them into sex slaves. That sucks. 50K. Like it really does. No, I'm being serious. Like I don't want people to think I'm <laughs> laughing. That's so crazy. Yeah, it does suck. I like, know that would seriously suck so bad. So bad. All right. Anyway, that Thank was. Thank you. Maybe I appreciate that. Oh, you got here.